In ground battles, just like in aerial and naval combat, various threats exist for the personnel involved. This is where combat robots can step in and significantly reduce human casualties. Nowadays, many countries have turned to using robots to neutralize these threats. However, this is not the only application of robots in ground battlefields. Numerous robots have been designed and built for various roles, including suicide missions, infantry support, anti-armor, air defense, and even medical evacuation. In the two recent military exercises of the Iranian Army's ground force, held in the west and northeast of the country, combat robots actively participated alongside FPV drones. This demonstrates that the commanders of this force have recognized the importance of such equipment in modern warfare. Hello, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, after briefly introducing the combat robots of the Iranian Army's ground force, we will examine their presence in recent military exercises. So, we invite you to stay with us until the end of this video. In April 2015, with the presence of Brigadier General Ahmad Reza Pordastan, who was then the commander of the Army's ground force, three achievements of the Army's self-sufficiency jihad organization were unveiled, including a combat robot named Nazir. The announced specifications of this robot included the ability to carry a wide range of weapons, such as machine guns with calibers of 7.62 mm and 12.7 mm, as well as two anti-tank missiles, or two man-portable air defense missiles. It was also capable of conducting various reconnaissance and combat missions. Additionally, it was equipped with six smoke grenade launchers to create a smoke screen for camouflage on the battlefield. The operational range of this robot was stated to be 2 kilometers, and it was mentioned that it uses a low-cost electric motor, making it harder for thermal imaging systems to detect. Furthermore, aside from combat and reconnaissance missions, this robot is capable of carrying a payload of 600 kilograms, including ammunition, supplies and medical equipment, and delivering them to the designated location. Interestingly, the Nazir platform is highly suitable for future development. It can be used to carry smaller suicide robots, including those from the Hydar-1 project, which we will discuss later. Moreover, adding the capability to carry multi-rotor drones, loitering munitions, and other weapons such as mortars, indirect fire weapons, and automatic grenade launchers, which play a significant role in supporting infantry on the battlefield, would be a great idea for further developing this combat robot. The network-centric robots from the Hydar-1 project are also among the robots manufactured by the Army's ground force. They were unveiled in 2019. These six-wheeled robots, which are small in size, are used for suicide and combat roles and can carry light assault weapons such as AK-47 rifles and explosive materials. Another robot developed by the Army's self-sufficiency jihad organization is the 3x3 Karakale Warrior Robot, which was officially unveiled in 2020. The announced specifications of this robot include being equipped with a camera aligned with its weapon, a laser rangefinder, an operational range of 500 meters, and a maximum speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Additionally, this robot has the capability to be armed with RPG-7 anti-armor rocket launchers. After a relatively long period since the unveiling of these combat robots, images have finally been released showing their extensive deployment alongside other forces and equipment of the Iranian Army's ground force, Nizaya, during security, offensive, and mobile military exercises. Although in the first security exercise of Nizaja, held in the northeastern region of the country, only a limited number of images of these robots were published, during the second exercise of this force in the western region of the country, more images of the widespread presence of these robots in the drill, were released by both official and unofficial media. Overall, we witnessed the presence of several types of combat robots with different missions in this exercise, which we will now discuss. The first case is the Karakal combat robot, which we had introduced earlier. Although Karakale was armed with a PKT machine gun at the time of its unveiling, and later, during a military parade, a version equipped with an RPG-7 rocket launcher was displayed, this time, during the Army's exercise. It was showcased in the role of a casualty and supply carrier. This demonstrates that different roles have been defined for this robot within the Army's ground force. 
Given this, there is a possibility that Nizaja's self-sufficiency jihad organization will further develop it and produce future versions. The next case, however, is an unknown 4x4 robot armed with a PKT machine gun, which was present alongside the Karakali robot. This robot is clearly designed for combat roles, and as seen in the images, it is used to support infantry forces on the front lines and assist them in suppressing enemy positions more effectively. As mentioned, the name and specifications of this robot are still unknown, and this appears to be the first time its presence in Nazaja has been publicly revealed. In fact, this robot is the first combat robot on a 4x4 platform built by the Iranian Army's ground force. Considering that the Karakali robot, as previously stated, can be equipped with various weapons and perform combat roles, deploying another similar robot with the same function may not be entirely justified. It remains unclear why the Army's ground force has decided to develop a new 4x4 platform. In any case, it is likely that this unknown combat robot, alongside the Karakal, will be produced on a large scale and enter service. And finally, the last case is the deployment of several 2x2 robots, which are smaller in size compared to the Karakal, alongside other robots. These robots, which were present in significant numbers, participated in the exercise in suicide, reconnaissance, and cargo-carrying roles. Interestingly, one of these robots was also armed with an RPG-7 rocket launcher and was positioned alongside the other robots. The names and specifications of these robots, like the previous case, have not yet been announced, and there is little information available about them. However, it can be said with certainty that they differ from the Nezaja Haidar Project robots, and are not part of that family. Additionally, for the first time, scooters designed for personnel transport, enabling rapid deployment and movement of troops, were unveiled. Apparently these scooters are based on the same 2x2 robots. Ultimately, given the presence of such a large number of combat robots in various roles during the Iranian Army Ground Forces security, offensive and mobile exercises, it can be confidently stated that the Army's ground force is determined to integrate these robots into its operations. In the future, we can expect their widespread use in different Nazaja units. Imagine a battlefield where AI-controlled robots fight alongside soldiers. That future might be closer than we think. Iran's combat robots are just one example of how warfare is changing. What do you think will happen next? Subscribe now so you don't miss our next breakdown on military advancements. Thanks for watching and see you next time.